let us now understand about factorization. And when I say factorization, what I mean is factorization of algebraic expressions. If you recall, we used to do the factorization of various numbers. Let us say, if you take a number 45, what we used to do was, we used to find out the factors of 45 by doing a prime factorization. So 5, why 5? Because in the end you have 5. 9, 3, 3, 3. So we used to write 45 is equal to 5 into 3 into 3. Right? And these numbers were called the prime factors of 45. Just like we used to do the prime factorization of natural numbers. 45 is what? It is a natural number. Similarly, if you have certain algebraic expressions, you can also do the factorization of these. Let us take, say for example, you have 6xy. Now 6xy can also be written as 6 into x into y. Just like we had written 45 as 5 into 3 into 3. Now can you further break down 6? Yes, you can also write this as 2 into 3 into x into y. So this basically represents what? It represents 6xy. So we can say that the algebraic expression 6xy, the factors of 6xy are written as 2, 3, x and y. Right? In algebraic expression, instead of saying we have the prime factors, we sometimes refer to this as irreducible factors. Which means that these factors cannot be reduced further. And each of these factors, which is 2, 3, x, y, divide the expression 6xy such that what is obtained is another expression which does not contain any kind of a division form or something. Right? So this is how you basically find out the algebraic expression in the most simplest of the forms. 